demonstrations, ya ikhwan, and mudaharat, going out into the streets and demonstrating, are not a means of da'wah. Nor are they a means of jihad. Had they been a means of da'wah or jihad, and both of them are acts of worship, the Prophet ﷺ should have, would have mentioned them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have mentioned them. Because for every act of ibadah, you require a textual proof. Just like your prayer, your fasting, your hajj, your zakat, all of these are acts of worship. Jihad is an act of worship. Da'wah is an act of worship. You can't just invent worship from the top of your head. You need a proof before you act. So, ibadah is tawqifiyah. And the wasail of da'wah are tawqifiyah. That da'wah and the means of giving da'wah and the means of making jihad are legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore you cannot invent into them. You can't invent into them. So a person can't say, well, the reason why I went down to London marching was because it's a means of da'wah. If it's a means of da'wah, then you must have a proof from the Qur'an and the Sunnah that the companions of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa they did it. If the companions did it, we'll do it. But they didn't do it, so we won't do it. If it is a means of jihad or da'wah, they would have done it. The Sahaba would have done it. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, they would have done it. And if they did it, it would have been reported in some hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa or some hadith or athar of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, and it wasn't. So therefore it is not a means of rectification, nor is it a means of da'wah, nor is it a means of jihad. Rather, it is a modern day muhdatha, it is a modern day invention, a bid'ah, an innovation in the deen. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that every innovation is misguidance in the deen, and every misguidance is in the hellfire. And likewise, Aisha radiallahu anha said, مَنْ أَحْدَثَ فِي أَمْرِنَا هَذَا مَا لَيْسَ مِنْهُ فَهُوَ رَدْ that whomsoever innovates into our affair, our religion, that which is not from it, then it will be rejected. So their demonstrations are rejected. We can confidently say, their demonstrations are rejected. Because this ibadah is not legislated, and any ibadah that is not legislated is rejected. And this is something that has been stated by all, by many of the scholars, those who have been asked. Like Sabin bin Baaz, Ibn Thaymeen, Al-Albani, to the extent that Ibn Thaymeen and Al-Albani have clearly stated, that this action in fact is in imitation of the kuffar. So you are using a means of rectification of theirs to rectify the deen of al-Islam. Does that even make sense? When, when Imam Malik radiallahu anhu wa rahimahullahu ta'ala mentioned the great Imam of Darul Hijra of Medina who died in the year 179 after the Hijra, he said that the latter part of this ummah will not be rectified except by that which rectified its earliest part. So rectification is only done by that which rectified the earliest part of the ummah, the, the, the time of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So therefore these demonstrations are not from Islam, nor are they from the means of rectification that were pursued by the companions of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nor from the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So therefore we do not do them. If you want to write a letter to the rulers, write a letter to the rulers, asking them politely, O oh, ruler so and so, we have, we have seen in our country and in our nation or in our people, in Europe or wherever, such and such occur, please put pressure, please do something to stop this mockery of our messenger. Or write to the scholars and tell them to advise the Muslim rulers. No harm in this, without abuse, without mockery, without tyranny, you can write this letter. And this is something that there is no harm in doing. But as for going out into the streets, then this is not legislated. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you will follow the ways of those who came before you. Hand span by hand span, cubit length by cubit length, up until if one of them entered into a lizard's burrow, then you would do likewise. So the companion said, do you mean the Jews and the Christians in imitation of the Jews and the Christians? He said, who else? So this is a following of the Jews and Christians with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade going out on demonstrations. And also, it is a means of khuruj, likewise if it is done in the Muslim lands. Furthermore, the Prophet ﷺ said, مَن تَشَبَّهَ بِكَوْمِ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ Whoever resembles the people is from them. So you're using their means of rectification, then you are resembling them and behaving like them. Rather, it is better that you follow the example of the Prophet ﷺ. Wallahu a'lam.